Welcome to Extraordinary Wines. This is where I put you squarely in the know with one extraordinary wine. Before we get started, take a moment to subscribe and hit the bell on your screen to get notified each time a new video is released so you can drink better and stay in the know. Today's find is a wildly popular $8 Spanish red. You heard me right. So stay tuned to find out why this is an extraordinary wine. The wine I'm sharing with you today is the 2019 Toro Bravo Tempranillo Merlot from Valencia, Spain. This wine launched in Ontario, Canada in January 2019 through the LCBO, one of the largest wine buyers in the world, and I awarded the first vintage 96 points. That was the highest score I'd ever given a wine under $10, and the wine soared in popularity, selling 23,000 cases in the first three months flat. Now it sold in eight Canadian provinces and is a firm bestseller with more than three and a half million bottles sold to date. But quality can be difficult to maintain with new wines that experience explosive popularity. So I kept a critical eye on subsequent vintages. The 2018 was good, not great. So I gave it 89 points. But the 2019 now on shelves has bounced back and is a knockout buy. I scored it 94 points in my March column in the Toronto Star. And the wine is excellent value for money. No wonder the LCPO has just listed it in a 1.5 liter format. This wildly popular Spanish red is truly an extraordinary wine. So let's taste. In the glass, beautiful depth of color. There is a you know, purple core and it tapers to a narrow ruby rim. It's not terribly opaque, um, but you'd expect that from a Tempranillo Merlot blend. It's clear, it's bright, and let's nose it. I love the fragrance of this wine because it's great purity. The fruit is dark fruit, so there's blackberry, poached plum, lots of dark black forest fruit. But what I love is there's also illusions of earthiness. So think toasted tobacco, black earth, but dry black earth, fig, lots going on. So I love that there's complexity on the nose and we want to see if that's echoed on the palate. Mm. The wine sweeps in beautifully smooth, great concentration, and then it quickly starts cascading with all of the notes we found on the nose. You're getting fig, you're getting hints of salinity even, a bit of slate, and the toasted tobacco as well as the black earth there too. That lingers a little bit on the finish. The black fruit is there mid palate, but it quickly sort of dissipates into other savory notes. Love that complexity. One more quick sip. Great structure, great balance, hint of grip, and there's also a spike of juicy acidity that scrapes the palate clean, keeps it refreshing, and keeps you sipping. Now the thing about this wine is it's fabulous at the table because it's food friendly and not all wines have that charm. This wine you can serve with all sorts of things including this tapa. Slices of toasted good bread smeared with herbed cream cheese and piled high with ham and you are golden. Or cheese fondue. It works really well with this wine and everybody loves cheese fondue. 
The third idea is Marcona almonds. Marcona almonds are from Spain and these ones have been seasoned with a little bit of truffle and it goes beautifully with the savory notes in this wine. So there you have it, a wildly popular $8 Spanish red. Have you tasted a brilliant buy lately? If so, let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe because I'm coming right back with more delicious, extraordinary wines so you can stay in the know. Thank you.